Hi, I'm Jack with The Catch Up. Tonight, the first census on sexuality, uni from home and some hope for honeybees. But first, Prince Harry's book and the BBC has seen a copy of Spare after it was released in Spain by accident before its official release date. So what's in it? Well, he writes that when he was 17, he lost his virginity to an older woman in a field, calling it a humiliating experience. He mentions taking drugs, including cocaine and magic mushrooms. And he describes killing 25 people in Afghanistan as having bad people eliminated before they could kill good people. The book is, of course, Harry's account of events, and both Kensington Palace and Buckingham Palace have said they won't comment on it. It comes out here next Tuesday. Next, new figures from the last census around two years ago show around 1.5 million people in England and Wales describe themselves as lesbian, gay or bisexual. That's just over 3% of people aged 16 and over. It's the first census to ask about sexual orientation and activists say knowing the data is vital asking these type of questions on a national level. It means that resources will be allocated in the correct way, that their communities will have their needs addressed. And I think it just shows that people care. And I think that's really important when at the moment we're stuck in quite a turbulent time. A couple of other stories for you now, and almost a third of university courses are still combining face-to-face -face teaching with online learning this academic year. That's up from just over 4% before the pandemic. One student told us he feels like he's paying for a glorified streaming service, but officials say loads of students like the flexibility and freedom. And Sony's announced that it's working on a more accessible PS5 controller for people with disabilities. It's being designed by experts, community members and game developers, and Sony says it'll help players with disabilities play games more comfortably. Tonight, I'm going to leave you with 10 seconds of hope as scientists in the US approve the world's first vaccine for honeybees. Experts hope it'll help protect them from a disease that destroys colonies so they can keep on pollinating. That's all for tonight. See ya.